Fog is a supernatural horror movie from 1980 by the famed John Carpenter. As the California coastal town of Antonio Bay gets ready to celebrate its centennial, strange occurrences begin taking place, not the least of which is a dense fog bank coming into town from the Pacific Ocean. People begin to disappear and are found dead in unnatural circumstances, and a discovery at the town's old church sheds light on the unsavory actions that helped the town prosper and is linked to the current supernatural activity. The Fog is clearly a ghost story. Even starting with a campfire tale told at midnight, it is more conventional in its plot and presentation than Carpenter's other movies. It lacks the terror of Halloween or The Thing, and it doesn't have the charm of They Live or Big Trouble in Little China. However, the fog does get a lot of mileage out of pitting ordinary people against a powerful, unnatural force. So in a way, this movie is not too dissimilar to The Thing. However, you can tell that The Fog has a much more limited budget. A highlight of the movie is the playful chemistry between Elizabeth Sully, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, as a free-spirited stranger who hitchhikes her way into Antonio Bay, and Nick Castle, played by Tom Adkins, as the weird, cynical local whose amateur investigation into his friend's disappearance is one of the main plot lines for the early parts of the movie. Adrian Barbeau, as the local radio DJ Stevie Wayne, also gets a lot of good scenes as she tries to help the town and herself as the supernatural danger increases. Unfortunately, there's only so much the characters can do against the vengeful ghosts in the fog, and while the 90-minute runtime keeps everything moving along, it can feel as though either the characters or the story are a bit underdeveloped. There are too many separate character threads that can be woven into a coherent tapestry in the time allotted. These shortcomings go hand in hand with the generally cheaper look of the movie. Nonetheless, there's several scenes of real tension to be had, even if the anxiety and the gore never quite reach the levels of Carpenter's masterpieces. What do you think of The Fog as horror cinema, especially in relation to Carpenter's other, more famous films? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my peculiar notions. If you enjoy the channel and want to support it, you know what to do. If you're interested in some more horror content since we're approaching Halloween, let me know that too. You can also take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe to another YouTuber you enjoy so they won't fall victim to the destructive, unknowable fog of YouTube's algorithm. Until next time, watch some good horror movies, live, and be well.